the last equation that we're going to be talking about, especially for the calculation of friction loss. This is just an int introduction. And <clears throat> it's the famous Hazen-Williams equation. Actually, this is not to calculate the factor of friction. This is go directly calculate the friction loss, okay? So this is just an introduction. That's why I'm not presenting you an example. But I want you to show you that it is possible to avoid the calculation of the friction factor and go directly and calculate the friction loss or any due to friction. The detail on this equation is that you must be operating between 2 inches and 6 inches of pipe diameter. So you have 1 inch diameter. It won't work. You have 8 inches. It won't work. Uh, the maximum speed that you should uh, operate is 3 meters per second which is also relatively... Uh, it's okay but it's also 4 or 5 meters per second it's also normal to do so that will be a limiting and it's only for water so if you find a substance pretty similar to water with respect of density and more importantly viscosity you could adapt it but essentially this is just for water okay the equation is uh, this one right here. The R is the hydraulic radius. We're going to see that later. The hydraulic radius is essentially the area of flow divided by the perimeter wet. The wet perimeter. Wet perimeter, okay? Normally, if you are in a cylind cylindrical pipe, this is the normal radius, so no worries unit of length of course. This is meter. This is the equation for SI for example. This will be the equation for English system. The only thing that changes is that we will use feet in the radius and we will get the units of feet in the friction loss instead of meter. Anyways, we CH is the Hazen Williams coefficient which you will get from tables depending on the flow and S is the friction loss per unit length so essentially HL recall that this is a number if you wanted to calculate HF you just need to multiply HL HL by gravity so if you have the velocity you plug it here you have this number you have the coefficient and you have the radius you calculate all this value, solve for S, and when given S, multiply it by gravity, and you will find the total friction loss due to the pipe wall. Okay, the same here. The only thing that changes is this number, but the coefficients right here are the same. Uh, this is for English system. This is for metric system. And we're done, guys. If you want to see some examples or exercises solve the problems of this Hayes and Williams equation, please do not hesitate to go to courses, get the apply fluid dynamics, then choose part one, which is incompressible flow, and you'll find a lot of solved problems, quizzes, and these slideshows. This was a free preview. If you want to get full access, go to my incompressible flow course, the link is in the description of the video you will get all access not only that you get a very straightforward uh, user-friendly interface so for instance you were analyzing or studying pumps you have it here the pump block and then you have the sections if you're for example studying the types of pumps you can go here and you have all the classes right here not to mention that you also have introduction and conclusion of every one of these so for instance, if you were studying positive displacement pumps, the video is right here. If you were studying positive displacement pumps in rotatory and reciprocal are also included here. Centrifugal pumps, which is a very important topic in this course, you have it right here.